this is Resident Evil 2. I promised my buddy Zach that I would make him a little playthrough because he's never experienced the quintessential survival horror experience. I would play the OG version, but it's uh, a little bit uh, a little bit dated right now. So here we go. Oh, we are hardcore. Do you want more? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. And I probably will die. I haven't played this one in a while, but, uh, Look, I have played it quite a bit. Now that is a tasty burger. This woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's got the piercing on the right side. You know what that means. did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She Talking about so gay truckers. You see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. I mean, this is this takes place in 1998, so... You know, it's, it's like okay to say that. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink their teeth in the middle. I should attack somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. Oh, he's got both ears. Okay, I don't know what to make of that. Sleep. You need to keep your eyes on the road. Oh. oh shit! It's gonna leave a mark. I'm sure it'll buff out. Not again! Oh god. What do I do? What am I gonna do? Uh we'll start with moving the body. Oh never mind. Meet our hero. The one the only. Those gas prices. Oh my god. It's puke. Thanks, Obama. Bro, that's diesel. You don't want to put no okay. one's around. No wonder the car doesn't work great. Let's try right one of the old school Jeeps. Oh, that's weird. Cool. Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. Something's not right. Slim Jims, nice. Right? Oh, hey. Bro, you got a fucking dart Don't in your move. neck. I'll be back for you. Okay, alright. Let's see what's going on here. Stop moving. A 
officer, you need help? Uh, stay back, sir, I got you. Stop resisting! <laughs> he didn't slap into it, slap into a slim chest. Freeze! I'll shoot! What the? No way! Oh god! Take a few more shots for me. Oh my god, I'm in danger already. Am I dead already? Oh, I'm dead already. I didn't think he'd climb up on me like that. Well, so let's continue. Alright, let's do that again. Hello? Hello? The pumps aren't working. Anybody there? I need me smokes and some scratch tickets. <laughs> Something's not right. You all right? Don't move. I'll be back for you. Stop moving. Also, you need freeze. I'll shoot. Shot during this whole playthrough, I guarantee. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Holy shit. I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. You can expect some romantic tension.
Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. There also has to be lots and lots of zombies because they were a big, it's a big city. I mean, don't people know this shit by now? Oh, I guess this is a, you know, looks like we're walking. Takes place here. in the '90s, back when nobody knew what zombies were. Oh yeah, we're definitely safe here. More like running. <clears throat> What the? Holy shit. Get out. Dog, you gotta get down. Get out now! Max, get down. I can't! Hold on! station. There has to be someone here. Not good. David! Marvin! You there? I found a way out! It's in here! 
find that guy probably on the faster side too don't need that let's go ahead and save okay I'll just do I guess we'll do this one that at all. Okay. Ah, oh. thank you. janitor sleep on the job again. There we go. Where's the plumber at too? Is nobody working anymore? Okay, not the first answer. I like you, I like you. Well we can't use this? It's obviously in need right now. Big old cop dumps too. Like donuts. Oh, I don't like Jesus.
Come on. Come on. gonna do this on standard <laughs> oh, I just saved over my fucking other play there damn it I'll get through it real quick I promise What's up with your neck? You right. Don't move. I'll, I'll be, be back, back for you. Huh. You'll be fine. Freeze! I'll okay, shoot. Weirdo. Okay. Use key. Thank you. Flip around. Hey, you. Hey, foxy lady. Hey, credits. Attention, all citizens. Building sexual tension. Mm hmm. This is out of control. Out of control. Everybody. All right. Now they've all turned. All turned. <sighs> there it is. The station. See, look, it literally took me like two and a half minutes to get back to where I was. Body. Coming through here, block the door. Through here. Say hi. Hello? Gosh, is anybody here? Is anybody here? Here? Bullets. What if I do? Look at monitor. He needs help. Grab this. Do this. Discard, we don't need this anymore. Yeah, might as well save. Alright. Now we're back on track. <laughs> okay. Don't like crawling. Back over here. Cold drinks. Lights on. More bullets.
Oh god, are you okay? Kennedy. There was another off I couldn't... I couldn't... Here. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. I mean, literally. You know, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully, you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Hmm. What's the police doing with, we can get you with the hospital. secret passageway? No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, Uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Combat knife. Oh, I know how to use it. I don't need instructions to know how to rock. Probably offload the boards for now. I don't need them until I get back in that other area I was just in. Because you only need to pass through this one area, I think, the one time. So it's a waste to put the, to use the boards over here. I do need these. Okay. Oh, gnarly. Huh? What? What the fuck? How did he even get up there?
stupid zombie. Can't know. Can't even open windows. Oh shit! September 25th, we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Mild times have changed. Addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. Yeah, of course. Must have been the wind. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters. But surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. There was a clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. Twelve people died. There's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray here. David Ford. Alright. What's this say? Oh, we got a map! We got a map! Yes, I know how to use a map, thank you. There's still something in this room useful. There's gotta be something. Bullets or something? There we go. Shit, I know that noise. I know that noise. Yeah, we're going up here. Look at this dipshit. Okay. Look at this fat guy I'm trying to get in the in the vending machine. Oh wow! See? That's the difference between hardcore and standard, I guess. I don't think he's alive. I mean, I don't... Well, yeah, of course he's not alive, but... It was open already, you dippy. Alright, um... Oh, yeah. Can I just... Ah! That's what I thought. Son of a bitch. Where I should use the boards. What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh, yeah, when the arms fall off after you slash, I'm pretty sure that's it. Alright, let's see. Storage locker terminal bimbo. Here's the keypad and lockers, terminals, missing a few keys. It suggests that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, you bastard. Who'd else, who else would fuck up the, fuck it up this badly? Uh, like my reading, for example. Right, let's see what we got here. 102. What kind of buttons we got here? Well, that's not good. Okay. 102, 103. Oh, we can do 106. Yeah, we can do 106. <sighs> Stop the presses, what do we have here? Gimme give gimme! Give oh shit, needs a key. A different key. And these, we can't get any of these until we get the button, the two button. Two, three. 
Ooh, what's that? A satchel. It's a fanny pack for my fanny. All right, what about in here? Oh, uh, I don't like this. Okay, let's just go ahead and test this one out. That's what I thought. You bastard. You fell funny. You're dead, right? I think he's dead. Okay, what else we got here? Oh. Gunpowder. Uses of gunpowder. Oh, I see. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things. You, we won't get what you need. Okay. When in doubt, brain pan. Shit. You're sturdy. Come on. I don't believe you. don't remember the combination. Hmm. But I'm not going to use the, the cheat sheet operation report. What we got here? Down to just me and three. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's just down to me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us both mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed your idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel, or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies. But I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. got here rookie's first assignment hey that might be me leon s kennedy we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment your mission is to unlock your desk the key to your success is the initials of our first names input the letters in the order of our desks there are two locks one on each side of your desk make sure you get them both basically your first task is to remember your fellow officers names but you figured that much out right Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you straight answer. Scott. Well, we know one's an S. A fun fact in the um, in the OG game, in the original game, there was a big typo here. It had welcome with two L's. Okay, so if you walk over here, there's a little Easter egg. Oh, there's the other L right there. Those dummies can't spell welcome. All right, so we've got... David Ford. It's a D. We got. Oh, we got a locker right here. Oh yeah, gun juice. Hang on, Max. I'll, I'll take you walk after this puzzle, okay? Oh shit, I said the word. All right, we got Marvin. We got Rita. Neil. So N E and D. Let's see if that works. N E and D. Fuck yeah. Alright. So Marvin. It's your cousin, Marvin. Marvin Barry. Well heck, we got M and R. We'll just do all we'll just uh, we'll just do uh you know the thing. Marvin, Rita, let's just say G. Hey! Hey, look at me! 
Fuck yeah. Ooh! See now, I have a trick here. We have to wait till the magazine expanded, and then we put it on there, and it gives us a full clip. It's a little, little uh, pro tip for you. Okay. All right, so we got that. Can we go through here yet? Nope. Okay. Worth a shot. Okay. Here. I think it's actually useful to use these here. I want to say it is. I think it is here because you have to go through here a lot. And if you don't board it up, then they burst through and there will always be zombies every time you go through here. But if you board it up, they won't come through. Oh, what do we got here? Is there a there's gotta be a light switch on in here, right? Ah, oh, here we go. Whew! Oh, there's that save music, saver music. Oh! And what have we here? Oh yeah, get that sweet herb! Sticky Iggy! Alright, what do we got here? Okay, let's... Oh, we can develop some film. Oh, it's a photo. It's a dude with a scepter and a book. And a sweet ass crown. Alright. I can remember that. The film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Got a save thing here. What does it say? Medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. That's where we're at right now. In Raccoon City is in the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries. Blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. Red herbs are visually appealing but offer no medicinal benefits, or so was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten herbs' effect, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, that's very rare, that's uh, vague, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield more fascinating results. Now, how do we intake this herb, by the way? Ooh, more bullets. Yes, please. What is this? Oh, gunpowder. I'm gonna keep the gunpowder on deck here because, like, you never know when you. I got plenty of bullets for now, so I'll just store them. Store. Store. Uh, all this stuff is useful. Uh, and in a moment. Oh, I gotta stop reloading every time I kill. Well, actually, I haven't done that yet, so. Go ahead and save here, and we're at 45 minutes, so this is a good time to call it a little break here. So I'm going to stop the record. Ooh. Until next time.